This is the 8-Bit Do Retro Mechanical Keyboard C64 Edition, and I just love this thing. It melds that iconic Commodore 64 design with a modern keyboard and adds a few surprises. First, the standard features. The keyboard has 87 keys, including function keys, all housed in a sturdy plastic frame that pays homage to the original C64 while offering the durability and responsiveness you'd expect from a modern mechanical keyboard. The keycaps are made from high quality PBT plastic, giving them a textured, durable feel that resists wear and tear. Underneath, you've got the Kale box switches, known for their durability and satisfying tactile feedback. I really like how these keys look, feel, and then more importantly, sound. Connecting this keyboard to my Mac is a breeze thanks to Bluetooth, but you can also connect using 2.4 gigahertz wireless with this included USB connector, which is held in place by a really cool magnetic adapter compartment. Or you can go old school and use a USB-C cable, which isn't too old school, but it's a cable. Toggle through your connection options using this rotary dial, which sits next to a volume dial for audio control. Next to the dials are a pair button for easy Bluetooth connections, a fast key mapping button for quick remapping, and a profile button to switch between different key configurations. There are indicators for connection status, key mapping, and active profiles, along with programmable keys for custom functions. I'm currently using Bluetooth and the connection is rock solid, no lag, no issues. I use this keyboard during my retro computer live streams and it's always a hit with viewers when they catch a glimpse. The nostalgic Commodore 64 appearance is always a conversation starter, especially when viewers see the classic power status indicator. I've customized the key mapping in my Mac system settings to swap the meta and alt keys for a better Mac experience. The 8BitDo software unfortunately isn't available on Mac OS currently. Despite this omission, everything works perfectly. The only thing I wish it had, a Mac specific keycap for the command key, but that's a small nitpick in the grand scheme of things and my muscle memory overcomes this shortcoming. One of the more unique features of this keyboard is the inclusion of a joystick and two additional red and very large buttons. A magnet holds the two units together. With the 8BitDo software, you can even make the joysticks and buttons activate macros. And both the joystick and buttons include a non-slip base to keep them from sliding around the table while gaming. I'm still figuring out how to use them, especially on my Mac since the software isn't available. I'm going to keep experimenting and waiting. When the software is available, I'll try and get the joystick and buttons working with the Commodore emulator Vice. A built-in rechargeable battery powers the keyboard. On a full charge, you can expect several weeks of use depending on your typing habits. Charging is simple, just plug the keyboard into the computer using the included USB-C cable when the battery gets low and you're back in business. One thing I really love about the Mechanical Keyboard C64 edition is how closely it matches the original Commodore 64's colors. As you can see here, the beige and brown hues are nearly identical, which really helps to evoke that classic retro feel when working on modern applications. Even the badge on the keyboard is a clever nod to the original C64 badge, maintaining that iconic look while giving it a modern twist. It's these little details that make this keyboard a standout for any retro computing enthusiast, especially you Commodore computer fans out there. If you're into retro aesthetics but don't want to sacrifice modern functionality, the 8-bit do retro mechanical keyboard C64 is a fantastic choice. Plus, at this price point, it's hard to beat. Hey, before you go, I've got something else to show you that might just pique your interest, especially if you're into making music as much as you love retro tech. A compact battery powered keyboard that's perfect for both seasoned musicians and casual tinkerers. It's got some of the same blend of modern functionality and retro vibes as this keyboard. Curious to see how it stacks up? Click on this video to learn more about this little powerhouse. It's a blast. Retrocombs out.